What's up? How y'all doing? It's Jared. This is a Victorinox Cadet. K kind of. Kind of. It's actually freaking chocolate. I am not kidding. I'm kidding you. This is a Victorinox Cadet. I'm not kidding. This is a freaking chocolate Victorinox. I can't remember where I found these, but I had to pick them up. I just, I was like, are you freaking kidding me? That's a chocolate Victorinox knife. I absolutely love that, right? Oh, like it was, it was honestly a couple months ago. This is fingernail polish remover, right? Acetone based fingernail polish remover. I have absolutely fallen in love with this stuff. This is a cool little press cap here as well as microfiber. Who can't have, you can't have enough microfiber. This is just excellent stuff, right? I, I freaking love it. So you just take it, you know what I mean? I'm going to give myself a couple pumps in there. And this is one of the best solvents for removing just gunk, goo, and, you know, packaging material and just crap off of my knives. You know what I mean? This is, it's really what I've come down to. There's a lot of different knife cleaners out there on the market. You know what I mean? You can buy different cleaners and honestly, soap and water works perfectly fine. But... I'll soak down a piece of microfiber or rag like this and just, you know, just a little bit of that fingernail polish remover. You can see how much crap, look at how much gunk just came off of this knife and it leaves it just shiny, shining bright. Like I really like the way that there's nothing left on there. It evaporates very quickly because it is acetone based. And so it just leaves the knife looking really good as well as titanium, right? Because if you're familiar with the way that this knife, this is a uh, Max Ace goliath right max ace goliath and i refinished these scales a little while ago i didn't do the best job at actually refinishing them but i polished it right it used to have the same kind of bead blasted finish as this uh it's not chris reeves and Kosi right here it used to have uh, that kind of same bead blasted finish as well as on the pocket clip here and the backspacer there you can kind of see the transistor i can actually get the color to come across in that backspacer and it looks pretty good right now right but i'll give it a little bit of a wipe down Clean it up a little bit and get to a dry piece of rag, dry it off. Look at the difference in that. Look at how rich and deep those colors get, right? When you've actually got it clean, when it's clean, there's no oil, there's no gunk on it. In comparison to the opposite side, you can see just the fingerprints and the oil and all of that crap gets on there and it just gunks it up, right? And so I really just, I'm just a big fan of it, right? As well as these things. These are Q-tips, right? But they're actually little tiny Q-tips. It's like a baby Q-tip. I don't know what they're honestly intended for. I don't think they're intended to be used as Q-tips. I do think they're actually cleaning implements. They're cleaning, you know, they're for cleaning your fingernails or cleaning whatever you got to clean, but they're excellent for getting in all those little tiny grooves and all those really small little spaces in there. And that can actually rough it up. If I rough up the side of the actual q-tip a little bit and fluff up if i can you know, get onto a better piece of this something that has a little bit more texture there right I fluff it up a little bit and it's actually really good at absorbing excess oil or any extra gunk or grease you got down into the little tiny crevices right the little small spots right you can just get it down in there and it fits into little areas that most q-tips larger q-tips just won't fit into I was really happy that I actually found these things. This is like the third jar of them that I've run through. I just keep buying these things. I don't know what this thing is for either. This is a really big syringe. It's full of Lucas oil stabilizer right now. And this is what I use in most of my multi-tools, multi-tools, things that I know are going to be beat up and know are going to get wet that isn't a knife. I generally use Lucas as a lubricant. And with this, I can just add a little tiny dot you know, a little tiny, tiny bit. I'm actually not going to squeeze any out because it's a pain, but you can imagine, you know, it works really well. I found this in the makeup aisle as well. I don't honestly know. It's not sharp. You know what I mean? It's, it's not for injecting anything. It is just for precise application of liquid, I guess any type of liquid because it was empty when I found it, but I'm, that thing's really cool as well. And check this out. Napkins. Yeah. Those are so dope. That's it. Random. Y'all have a good one.